Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In my last episode, I showed you guys that SPHD might not be the best monthly paying dividend ETF to invest into, and I put it heads to heads with PEY. And PEY won by a long shot. So I'm going to invest $200 into PEY ETF until I eventually own 100 shares of PEY. With that being said, this video is brought to you by trackyourdividends.com. It's a website to help you track your dividends. It shows you when you're going to get paid, how much you're going to get paid every single month. It's going to show you your annual income from your dividends and then your future projections. The link to track your dividends is down in the description. So I'm going to buy $200 worth of PEY. I'm going to show you guys how to plug that in to trackyourdividends.com. It is completely free if you guys want to try it out. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and get straight into the video. All right, here we are YouTube on the My Robinhood account. This is where I'm gonna be buying the ETF PEY. I've been growing my dividend portfolio on here for about a year and a half now, almost two years. On the day, I'm down $52, almost 0.23%. On the week, I'm up $605.80, 2.74%. Over the last month, I'm up 6.43%, $1,372. And over the last three months, I'm up 22% up $4,127.05. So my portfolio value right now is $22,736. I have a buying power of $237. And in my last video, I showed you guys that I have been investing a lot into SPHD. Over the time, I have about $1,000 invested into SPHD, but it's just not working out on how I planned it to work out. Like I showed you guys in my last video, PEY, in another ETF beat out SPHD by a landslide. So right now, PEY is around $15.29. The market cap is at $666,065. It's too many sixes for me, all right? So uh, the PE ratio is 24.12, and the dividend yield is 5.11. The high over the last 52 weeks is $19.34, and the 52-week low is at $10.97. So we're still below the $19.34 for the 52-week high because it's at $15.29. So let's go ahead and dive in and buy some stock right now. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit trade, buy, and that'll be around... 15, 14 shares, 13. There we go, 13 shares. I'm gonna be buying 13 shares of PEY. And then we're gonna plug it into trackyourdividends.com to see how much my annual dividend income will be. So let's hit review, swipe up. There it goes. My order has been complete. I just bought 13 shares. So now, now I have 15 shares of PEY with a market value of $229 and 35 cents so let's go ahead and plug this in into trackyourdividends.com to see how much income i'm going to make from dividends this year all right here we are on trackyourdividends.com right now with just all of my dividend um stocks put inside this portfolio my portfolio consists of around nine thousand nine hundred and sixty four dollars worth of stocks that hold dividends with a dividend yield of 4.81 percent yield on cost is 4.43 and right now without touching anything I'm, I'm gonna make 480 dollars this year just from my dividend portfolio but before i plug in pey let's go over to seeking alpha seeking alpha has pey dividend yield at 5.12 percent so that's what we're going to use they have grown their dividends over the last six years and they pay out every single month if we take a look at their holdings pey holdings is heavy on the financials with 25% under financials and 22% under utilities. Their top 10 holdings is ABA, UGI, MO, OKE, UNM, R, CMA, Exxon Mobil, LEG, and Philip Morris. So these are their top 10 holdings out of 53 and the top 10 account for 28.92% of their portfolio. So this is the ETF that blew SPHD out of the water in my other video if you guys want to check that out. So now let's go ahead and plug in PEY. $480 is our annual income right now. So we're going to click on new holding, type in PEY. 
There it goes. Number of shares was 15. And then our cost per share was $15.20 according to Robinhood. Gonna hit add. So there it goes. We went for $480 to $491. I just increased my annual income by $11, guys. Eleven whole dollars just by having 15 shares of PEY. So that is amazing. I'm gonna continue to buy shares of PEY until I eventually hit 100 shares of PEY. So let's go ahead and plug this in into the dividend calculator that track your dividends do have if you guys want to try this out the link is down in the, in the description it's completely free to sign up and use they do have a paid version that has more tools that you can use to look and evaluate your dividends but this is the free version so let's say that we invest if i'm buying 200 dollars every week let's say i'm investing 800 dollars let's say i start off with 100 dollars i'm investing 800 dollars every single month because that's $200 a week. And then the dividend yield was 5.12%. Let's plug that in, 5.12. And then let's say over the next 30 years. Calculate returns, here it goes. By year two, by investing $800 a month with a 5.12% return, I'll have $10,000 in my portfolio bringing my annual income from dividends to $497. And then we could just look at these numbers on the way down. By year 10, I'll be bringing in $5,455 every single year from dividends. And I have around a $100,000 portfolio. Keep in mind, this is if PEY do not grow at all. If it stays at $15.20 over the next 10 years, this is what my account be. But let's say if PEY eventually goes back up to $19, then this um, portfolio my total money would be a lot higher than what is showing on here now this is just as py do not go up over the next 10 years i'll still be bringing in five thousand four hundred fifty five dollars by year 10 if they don't increase their dividends anymore and if the price of py don't go up anymore by year 20 i'll be bringing in fifteen thousand dollars i can officially retire in mexico or in portugal and i have around a three hundred thousand dollar portfolio and by year 30, I'll be bringing in $30,000. And I'll have around a $641,000 portfolio if the price of PEY don't go up. If you guys wanna try out this calculator for yourself, remember the link to track your dividends is down in the description. So this is my journey to growing my dividend account. I'm gonna to continue to buy PEY until I reach 100 shares. When I reach 100 shares, we're gonna see how much my annual income has increased. So far, it's gonna increase around $11 every single week if I keep investing $200 into PEY week after week after week. And then hopefully by year 10, I am going to diversify, but hopefully by year 10, if you guys subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out by year 10, I, I, I plan on being doing YouTube for around 10 years from now, um, you guys will see the growth that I have in my dividend portfolio. Once again, the link to track your dividends is down in the descriptions. And if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, make sure that you scroll down and hit the subscribe button. And while you're down there, Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button, destroy that thumbs up button, go ahead, pound that thumbs up button, whatever gets you going. All it takes is one, one little click. It takes a half second out your day and you really help out this channel more than you can even imagine just by hitting that, just, just by hitting that thumbs up button. But yeah, guys, other than that, I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace.